Hi, my name's Giselle. Welcome to Vibrant Healthy Living. I've got some fresh green beans here that I thought we'd make a green bean salad out of. And whenever you're doing fresh living foods, sometimes we run across things and we're thinking, well, how can we do that? We're so used to, for example, steaming green beans is how I'm used to eating them, which is okay. But if you want to do raw living foods and you want to have uh, a full nutritional value of the food that you're using, then you don't want to apply heat to it because that destroys the enzymes and the vitamins and minerals, or, or some of them, not necessarily all of them. But in order to get a full benefit, we're going to do it raw. So what I'm going to do with the green beans is we're going to go ahead and chop them up in the food processor. And get the right blade here. So I am just going to Okay, thought I could do it the other way, but apparently not. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put these in here into the food processor. And we're just going to do a quick chopping as we don't want them like liquidy by no means. We just want to get them chopped up. Fine enough, so you can still have the flavor of the green bean without having large chunks. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stir that up a bit and go ahead and pulse it. I see a few chunks in here. So instead of Doing it on complete. I'm just going to pulse it. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and take this out. Of course, you always want to be careful when you're working with this because these blades are very sharp. So I've just got some chopped up green beans here. That was real fast and easy. Just put them in the mixing bowl. Okay. Just the same blade again. And this time I have some red bell pepper. Just chop them up in smaller pieces since I'm going to do the same with them. I'll probably use the pulse so that it's chopped but not, not too fine, just little chunks of it. So I'm going to throw these red bells in there. pieces don't always go down below, so push it down and pulse, pulse it a couple more times. Now you can use green bell pepper, but they're not ripe, and so the flavor just, to me, isn't that, that flavorful. So here we've got a pretty combination of the green beans and the red bell peppers. Mix those up in there. Ready? that is 
aside for now. Okay, now I'm going to take some fresh tomatoes and cut some of those up in there. There again, and it's a nice red, and then you have the juice from the tomatoes, which adds to it. I will do like a marinade or a light dressing as well. which add a little bit different flavor, a little more tart than the fresh tomatoes, but it's a good flavor. Okay, there's that, and it doesn't have to be real fine. I'm just going to, a little bit of a hard spot there, let's get rid of that. Respect for a very sharp knife, so okay. So we go. Those in there. They're not real small. You can chop them up smaller than that, of course. I'm just gonna add that. Okay, and go ahead and chop this one up and add it as well. So so far, I just have. Um, couple handfuls of um, green beans, rinse them and cut the tips off. Just run it in the food processor. And then I did the same with the red bell pepper. And then we're just adding some fresh chopped tomatoes here. Okay. So there again you see there's lots of wonderful color here. Actually, looks rather Christmassy. Yeah, and you could serve this for a Christmas part of a Christmas dinner. It would certainly be appropriate. Okay, so I'll stir that up. And I have some sun dried tomatoes here. I'm just going to take a couple of them. Just a little bit of tart taste or tart flavor. Those. Again, you can chop it finer, but here you have an idea. I'm just adding a few different um, vegetables for flavor and, and for color. Mix those together. Okay, we have a, a rather large bean here that snuck in there. Okay, now I'm going to take some fresh lime and I'm just going to squeeze some in there. So I'm going to guesstimate about a couple of teaspoons. So this is a half of a lime and then you can always add, taste and add as you, depending on how, how you want the flavor. Okay, so that's about two teaspoons of fresh lime. And then I'm going to take about, um, not quite a teaspoon, maybe three quarter teaspoon of Celtic salt. Not quite. What I like to do, you can always add, so I'll put a little bit, stir it up, taste, and then add. Okay, stir that up a bit. And then this is about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. large clove of garlic and take the knife and hit it and this makes it easier to peel 
See how it just comes off so much easier that way. Okay. So garlic is a natural antibiotic and it adds muck, just some excellent flavor to any dish. I love using this in a marinade. I use uh, for my marinade for my vegetable salad. This is usually the one I like and that's uh, Celtic salt, fresh lime juice, and fresh garlic and olive oil. Now you can also use uh, flaxseed oil, which is real high in omega 3s, and that's a real good one to, to add. Sometimes I'll do partly virgin olive oil and part flaxseed oil, or one or the other. I'm just going to chop this up as fine as I can. So you have flavor without biting into a big chunk of it. Of course, what you want to do with a lot of your salad with a marinade on it is you want to stir it periodically and then let it sit so it has a chance to work down into the salad. And then the flavors blend nicely and, and then you've got everything, all the vegetables coated really well with your marinade. Okay, so I'm going to stir this all up. So there again, it's fresh green beans, rinsed and with the tips cut off. And I used this a whole red bell pepper, chopped up. Um, both the green beans and the bell pepper were chopped in the food processor. Okay, and then I added some sun-dried tomatoes. And let's see, and then a little bit of salt. Let's see what we say. Not quite a teaspoon of Celtic salt, about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of olive oil. I like to use virgin olive oil. And let's see, a clove of garlic and fresh lime, fresh lime juice. So about a oh, teaspoon and a half, teaspoon of fresh lime juice. Okay, so here we are, I have it all mixed together. We have a green bean salad. And now, for the test test to see how it has turned out. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Crunchy. Just a knife. Salt. And lime juice. And just enough on the garlic. Mmm. Very good. There again. Oh, that's right, we have fresh tomato in there too. That's right, we did have fresh ones in there too. So there again, um, you just mix it periodically and then you can set it aside and let the marinade work down into the vegetables and have those luscious flavors that blend nicely. All right. And what I like to do is make um, different salads like this cover it, put it in the refrigerator, and then if you need a quick meal or you're traveling, you have it ready. You just need to grab it, eat it, grab it, put it in a little container and go. That's great. Now, especially if you're trying to do more raw foods into your diet. If you have it ready, it's less tempting to want to go for the cooked foods so, or the fast food restaurants. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.